After getting my rest from returning from Cambodia, I headed up to Oregon to see the Sisters on the Fly, a group of ladies that redoes vintage trailers. Amelia was right at home, and I even got to stay in one of these beautiful abodes. Then it was back to Washington State to visit family as well as go into the Olympic Peninsula. I had some wonderful camping and even sightings of deer. It took time to just sit and enjoy the surroundings, but I got back into the groove very quickly. There are many things from childhood that pop back into my mind as I took this adventure. One of them was playing in tide pools, a pastime that I still find great enjoyment in. And what better place to test out my new Cena cameras? After more solo riding, it was time to visit the family back in Tacoma. It was a short visit, but it was time for Amelia and I in the open road to get back into action. It was getting close to the 4th of July, and what better way to spend it than in Jackson Hole, Wyoming with friends and out on the water. After an exciting time on the river, it was back to nature for me. I was very happy to be going back to Yellowstone National Park, a place as a child I held very dear to my heart. And even as adult, it did not disappoint. and it was that time again to get hit with some hail. It'd been a while since I'd been in a good rainstorm, so why not in Yellowstone? Couldn't ask for a better road to travel. Yellowstone has a little bit of all. From the small and gentle, to the powerful and large, both commanding their present in their own right. It's not only just the animalistic beauty that surrounds you within Yellowstone, it's also the minerals and the way that the earth produces so much variety and so much beauty unto itself. After three amazing days in Yellowstone, I ventured on to Glacier National Park. There was no camping, everything was full, so I met a great group of other motorcyclists and we all ended up sharing one spot. We even went and rinsed out our clothes together. Can you really be on an epic journey on a bike and not go to Sturgis in America? There we go, there's Mount Rushmore, check it out! I'm headed now to the Crazy Horse Monument. And you can see it right there above on the top of the hill. There's some new sculpture work that's being done. to take a bath wherever you can find it. The best part of this is the little kid that just exited on the right of the screen on the floaty decided to stare at me for quite a long while until he just came up to me and asked me what the heck are you doing? I really wish I had high definition recording of this voice conversation. 
He was the cutest little kid. He asked me what I was doing. When I answered and said I'm taking a bath because I needed to be clean for the night, he said, yeah, but the water here is dirty. Couldn't argue with the kid on that one. It wasn't in the original plan to take this route. But in passing back up from the south to get back to my campsite, I took the Clive Custer State Park Road. And it was one not to be missed for sure. I will definitely be back. in North Dakota, I met a couple, John and Deb, from South Dakota. We ended up camping right near each other when the storms hit. I also met their friend from Phoenix. We had a lot in common and knew a lot of the same people. It was very ironic. But this travel through the Badlands would then take me home to their house for a two-day stay and a day at the lake and water skiing. I even got to enjoy a family dinner out. It was a lovely evening and a lovely stay. And when a girl wants to celebrate 10 months on the road, you can't do it any better than at the bar top of the ice cream capital of the world. Thanks for taking part in this journey. So until next time, 